That's effing sweet! Hi everybody, Emmanuel here from FinSuite with a walkthrough on how to build this awesome 3D globe from scratch in Webflow. Let's rock and roll! We're gonna start by adding a div block to our page. Next, we're going to give it a class. In my case, I want to give it a class of FS 3D globe container. And you can adjust the width and the height of this element to anything you'd like. In my case, I want to set it to 100% viewpoint width and 100% viewport height. Next, we want to add attributes to this element. So we're going to add an attribute of FS. 3D globe element with a value of container. The second attribute is going to be our 3D globe image. First, we have to upload that image to the asset panel. So let's head over to our asset panel and upload an image. Once the image is uploaded, we're going to click on this settings icon over here and copy this link. Then we're going to head over to our attribute panel and we're going to add a new attribute of FS 3D globe IMG. And here we're going to paste that URL. And that's it. Let's create a new CMS collection. I'm going to call it globe pins. And here I'm going to add the latitude, which is a text field, the longitude, And quite frankly, you could add any optional fields you'd like. In my case, I'm going to add a pin image. A headshot. And an email address. Next, I'm going to save this collection. Then I'm going to start creating my team. Once all the team members are added, I'm going to head back to the designer. Now you want to make sure that the body tag is selected. Next, we're going to add a new collection inside of the body tag. And we're going to bind that collection with our newly created CMS collection. Now let's head back to the navigator and add some div blocks inside of our collection. So we're gonna have the collection item selected and we're simply going to add a div block inside. We're going to name this div block FS globe pin. And then we're going to add another div block right next to it, which is going to be having the class of FS globe tooltip. Now that we have our pin and our tooltip, let's make sure we're inside of the collection item and we're going to add two more text blocks, one for the longitude and one for the latitude. Let's now add attributes to our tooltip, our pin, our latitude, longitude, text blocks, and to our collection list. Let's start with the tooltip. To the tooltip, we're going to give an attribute of FS3D globe element with a value of tooltip. Next, we're going to select the FS3D globe pin 
and to that element we're going to give an attribute of fs 3d globe element with a value of pin then we're going to select the latitude element and to that we're going to give an attribute of fs 3d globe element with a value of lat and to our longitude element, we're going to give an attribute of fs 3d globe element with a value of lon. And finally, you want to make sure you have the collection selected, the collection list here. And to the collection list, we're going to give an attribute of fs 3d globe element with a value of list we're going to save that and that's it now we can add all the other elements to our pin and our tooltip first i'm going to start with the pin i'm going to add an image field for the pin image then to the tooltip i'm going to add an image field as well for the headshot then i'm going to add a heading for the name and i'm going to add a link text for the email address now that we have our cms structure in place let's bind all the fields we're going to get the text for the heading from the name we're going to get the link for the email address from the email address field and we're going to get the text from the same field there we go now the image we're also going to get from the cms collection in this case we're going to bind this field with the headshot and inside of the pin we're going to bind that image with the pin image and there we go and the latitude and the longitude we're going to bind respectively to the latitude and longitude fields. Now that we're pulling all the data we need, let's style our elements. For the tooltip, I'm going to set a maximum width of 256 pixels. I'm also going to give it a padding of 16 pixels and I'm going to add a border radius of 8 pixels and a border with this color. There we go. I'm also going to give it a white background color because I don't want the element to be transparent. The latitude and longitude fields can be hidden. We're going to set the display to hide. Now that we customized our 3D globe tooltip, let's customize our pin. I'm going to set the width to 48 pixels and the height to 48 pixels as well. The image inside of that globe, I'm going to set to 100% width. And that's it. Now all I have to do is copy the code snippets and add them to the head and the body tag respectively. First, I'm going to copy this code that goes into the body. I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to copy the CSS. I'm going to paste that in the head tag here. And I'm going to save the project. The last thing we're going to do here is hide our collection list wrapper. Then we can publish our site and our globe should be done. There we go, our globe is spinning and we can see we're having custom pins for each person. Let's recap what we just did. 
In step one, we added a div block to our page with some attributes to turn it into a globe. In step two, we configured our CMS collection. In step three, we connected everything together. In step four, we styled our tooltip and our pins. And in step five, we added the script tags to our head and the body. And that is how you build a 3D globe in Webflow from scratch.